Well, it's that time that we cross over live to Kisumu County for Willis the Word Master. Willis, great to see you this evening. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Betty. It's always great for me to see you from the capital city. <laughs> great, Willis. Let's get straight to it. Do we say gestation or gestation? That's a word that confuses quite a number of people. Betty, locally, many people say gestation, mm -hmm. gestation, mm -hmm. which is wrong. Mm -hmm. We say j, j, not g, mm -hmm. gestation. Mm -hmm. Just like we talk about gesture, mm -hmm. gender, and generator. Okay. We don't talk of gesture, gender, generator. <laughs> so, gestation. Gestation. <laughs> All right, Willis, moving on. Do we say, I'm um, sure... Or I'm sure that the rain is going to fall. Is it sure or sure? You hear quite a number of variations in that. On several occasions, mm -hmm. Betty, I've talked about alternative pronunciations for certain English words. Mm -hmm. Some English words are pronounced in more than one way, and this is one of those words. We say sure or sure. Mm -hmm. Just like we have assure and mm -hmm. assure, mm -hmm. reassure and reassure, okay. and we also say ensure and ensure. Ah, okay. So we can say sure and sure. Great, Willis. Let's move on to the third word, and I have an, a word that has uh, <laughs> been forwarded by a colleague. Do we say should or should? could or could <laughs> <laughs> well betty some of these words are really you know disturbing many of the non-native speakers of english language we <laughs> are the non-natives so in this case yeah. you'll hear somebody pronouncing letter l in those words which is not the case uh -huh. letter l is silent mm -hmm. so we say should could mm -hmm. would not should, could, mm -hmm. old, no. <laughs> should, uh -huh. could, and would. All right. Yes. So, so the L is silent. There you are. Okay. Moving on. Uh, when we're talking about this drug substance, is it heroin or heroin? Hmm. We say he, not he. Uh -huh. Heroin. Mm -hmm. Heroin. Just like when we talk of a lady who is, you know, uh, so popular or liked by many people yes. uh, due to a particular quality, yes. we don't say she is a heroine, no. Uh -huh. We say she is a heroine. Oh. So, uh -huh. for the popular lady and the very powerful drug, yes. we always call them homophones, words uh -huh. which are spelled differently okay. but pronounced the same way. But Betty, we should remember that we say hero, uh -huh. heroic. Okay. Hero, heroic, heroic, but heroin. Heroin, got it. Do we say satellite yes. or satellite? You know? <laughs> Very tricky. Yes. Very tricky, mm -hmm. that word, Betty. Many mm -hmm. people say satellite. Satellite. In mm -hmm. ordinary communication, mm -hmm. no problem, mm -hmm. because the most important thing is is the person you are talking to understanding what you are saying. Yes. But when we come to formal or serious communication, Betty, yes. broadcasting for that matter, uh -huh. marketing or the legal profession, yes. we just have to get it right and say satellite, satellite, satellite not satellite, Great. satellite. Satellite, got it. Willis, it's time for a surprise word. Do we have any tonight? It may catch many unawares, or it may be a surprise to many people, Betty. That uh -huh. is my feeling. Anyway, okay. <laughs> we hear of people talking about fracas. Yes, fracas. Yes. There was a fracas yes. of, you know, a noisy, you know, quarrel or Chaos. fighting and all that. Yes. We should avoid fracas. That is a defective pronunciation. That is my surprise word for tonight. And the correct pronunciation is fracas. Fraka. What? That S is silent. Fraka. <laughs> Fraka. 
Then we've, all, then we've all been pronouncing it wrong, I'm as bad. <laughs> <laughs> that is why I said today I know many people would be surprised. Yes. So we don't say fracas, mm -hmm. we say fraca. That is the singular form. Okay. But the plural form is fracas, fracas. Okay. Now we have a voiced sound z at the terminal part. Ah, got it. That's a surprise, Willis. Now, finally, for our feedback question, very quickly, we have um, Ken Kowo from Homer Bay. He wants to know the difference between road, um, as in R-O-D, road, as in R-O-D-E, and then we have road, like a lion, road or road. Oh. <laughs> These are contrastive pairs when mm -hmm. I would talk linguistically, contrastive mm -hmm. pairs. These mm -hmm. words, they're pronounced differently, Betty. So yes. Ken Kowo should say rod, rod, mm -hmm. R-O-D, rod. Yes. But when we have R-O-D-E, the yes. past tense of ride, we say road, road. road. Just like we pronounce bara, bara, R-O-A-D, mm -hmm. yes. road. Yes. R-O-D-E, road. Those are also homophones. Okay. Then your third word there, R-O-A-R-E-D, mm -hmm. we say road, road. Road. The lion road yesterday, road. Ah. So we don't say road the okay. way some people find themselves pronouncing that <laughs> word because it has a long vowel, O, oh. O, road. Road. So there we are. <laughs> yes. Well, it's always a pleasure having you on the show. I mean, I like the surprise word, fraca, not fracas. <laughs> Thank you very much, Willis. I know, Betty. Mm -hmm. That is also very good for us tonight. Yes. And I would also say next week, still from Kisumu City as usual. <laughs> it will be my pleasure as usual. Right, Willis, the word master, he's coming to us live from Kisumu, as he has just mentioned, for the Mind Your Language segments that you can find only here on Friday Briefing. Catch him on Twitter at Willis Ocheng one